your, your body doesn't know weight. All it knows is pressure and resistance. But you want to be able to get a good resistance that's to be able to, to build your muscles, not really just the weight. Weight is a factor, yes, but it's about the resistance. Yes. It really don't know the difference between 150 pounds depending on the resistance. Everything goes into it to make the, the, the exercise more difficult and create more resistance on your body so they can grow, so you can live long and look good. Salute, let's get to the third set. Just coming through, we got seven body weight squats, seven dips, then we got seven behind the neck pull-ups. Non-stop, then we'll get a break. Let's go ahead and get it. Salute to everybody that's coming through today on this Sunday, huh? Right. And stretch on it. You wanna be able to get everything pushing with it. We do a body weight squat, yes, there's no weights, but I want you to be able to feel every rep. Feel it, okay? Good tempo. Now let's go ahead and get these dips. Big stretch. Main thing is a big, big stretch on these pecs. Big stretch. Dips ain't nothing but the upper body squat. That's all it is. Let's push with it. Let's push with it. Go down and up. Let's go ahead and get it. Stretch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. One more. Big stretch. Say a little pause. So I want to feel every single time. All right. Let's go and get behind the neck pull-ups. I love behind the neck pull-ups because it really gets that ultimate stretch on them lats. It's a more difficult pull-up, but like I said earlier in this live, you wanna sometimes start with the more difficult exercises to make the easier ones even easier when you get there, okay? So behind the neck pull-ups, great. They're not used a lot, but when they are, they're very effective when it comes to the rhomboids, the traps, the rear delts, and of course, those upper lats, okay? Sometimes get to the lower, depending on how you pull with them, you have that great mind and muscle connection. Creates that big, wide, thick back that everybody wants, okay? Watch the stretch. The main component when it comes to doing the behind the neck pull-ups is the stretch. You want a crazy stretch, all right? Let's go ahead and get it. Big stretch. See the jolt? Right here, boom. And I'm pulling, boom. Stretch, two more. Pull, and as you see, I do a variation, a little slight pause when I get to, I, I, I stretch, one, two, boom, one, two, boom, out. You see the, you see the momentum, boom. And it's all about creating resistance. So I know there's a beginning workout, but I've been doing calisthenics for a very long time. 